Yo, man, I was damn near right, guys. Yo, what's going on, everybody? How you guys doing today, man? Welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we're talking about Zion Williamson's predictions. I said yesterday that he was going to have, like, around 20 points, I would say. Around, like, 7 to 6, 8 rebounds, somewhere around then. Like, 4 to 3 assists. And I was damn near on the money, pretty much. He had 22 points, 7 rebounds, 3 assists last night. He played very well, I understand. During, I love, so I saw so many people calling him a bust in the first game, like one to two and three quarters, like the first, the second, and the third quarter. He was not doing so well. He was playing pretty bad, but at the same time, they had minute restriction, minute restrictions on him as well. He was playing like four to three minutes per quarter or something like that. But when he got into the rhythm into the fourth quarter, this man had 17 points in the fourth quarter, was killing it in the fourth quarter. They almost won the game. There was such a close game after that because he was just killing it. And I saw a stat to where Zion Williamson almost had more points uh, in the fourth quarter than the whole, uh, the whole New Orleans Pelicans team. I think it was like 18 and Zion had 17 in the fourth quarter. So he was pretty much damn near the whole squad during at one point in time in the fourth quarter and it was amazing to see this man is a bright future a superstar in this league i am excited to see man no one was expecting him to shoot fucking four threes and making all of them i know he was wide open but they were kind of playing him like Giannis at one point in time in his career. They, they still do it now somewhat. But now they know he's a fucking threat from three. And you're not going to leave him open because he's going to knock those down, those open shots. And now what was happening last night. Three of them were open shots. And then Lamar, uh, the, well, well, who was it when he was guarding when he hit the last four, uh, his last three? Uh, LaMarcus Aldridge. Yeah, that's who he was. It was... It was in the last three he hit. He was kind of contested, I would say. He's still, he's doing like that, kind of pulled up, went like that, kind of faked it and shot the ball. I know he has a set shot, so a lot of people were coming into this, even coming uh, into out of Duke. People were saying he's not going to be a very good three-point shooter. If he can at least make 35% of his threes, he is going to be a, it's going to be, he's going to be a problem because in the paint, him posting up, his IQ and passing ability, like that is so underrated. You understand his passing ability, what he can do when he's pushing up the floor. Man, his uh, the pace of play, bro. It's going to be amazing to see. You got Lonzo and, and Zion Williamson in that lineup all the time. And you, Lamar, like, I'm actually giving Lonzo Ball credit a lot right now because he's going to furious and do amazing things while Zion is with him as his duo. Because in my opinion, I know Brandon Ingram is going to do his thing. He's going to be a nice player. But when it comes down to it, I don't think Zion Williams is going to need the ball to really score, in my opinion. I know Brandon Ingram is going to need the ball, and so is Lonzo. But this is why this works so well for the New Orleans Pelicans, is he doesn't need the ball to score, really, to be honest with you. And that's what I like about Zion Williamson, and I'm really excited. He is not selfish at all. I saw him fucking just putting out screens. He was playing a lot of defense. He was doing very well tonight, and I'm really excited to see in the future. And Lonzo Ball, man, he had 12 assists, 14 points. He did a really good job, almost had a triple-double. So this is going to be very well and very good for uh, Zion and Lonzo. As I think they're going to do very well on this team. And I'm really excited to see what this goes down. Because a lot of people are calling Lonzo a bust as well. I know I made a video talking about it, but I never said he was a bust. It was, people were just saying that, and that's what I said in my video. And, uh, man, it's looking like it's going to look nice, man. What I saw from Lonzo, he's going to be passing a lot of the fucking Zion a lot of the times. It's like fucking LeBron and AD in some types of way. I'm not comparing those two whatsoever in my any estimation. I'm just talking about just passing the ball into the post like and just giving it to a lot of Zion into the paint, bro. It's just going to be so amazing to see, and I'm just excited. I'm really excited to see what goes on with the Pelicans, with Lonzo, Zion Williamson, Brandon Ingram, and I, I'm hoping I, that they just came out with the Eastern Conference starters for um, the All-Star game, and um, right now, I'm wondering if Brandon Ingram is going to be, I don't know if he's going to be a starter, but I hopefully he does become a All-Star this season, he deserves it, I know a lot of people are comparing him to Paul George right now, because uh, and stat wise, Brandon Ingram has a better stat line right now for Brandon Ingram, and it's really good to see. I'm really excited for him. This team's gonna grow so well. I'm just fucking excited. We, I forget yet. You have JJ Redick off the bench. You have Josh Hart off the bench as well. You got Hayes, uh, the center rookie, and then you have Favors, which at one point in time I saw that he said he had um, 25 in a row made fr uh, field goal percentage or field goal mates. Uh, he had 25 in a row or something like that. So that's really good to see as well. He had 11 points and 10 rebounds. 
Drew Holiday just came back, I believe. And uh, he's going to do a lot better. So this team is going to do, is going to have, I'm hoping to have a real big push into the playoffs at, at around this half of this season. And I want to see them in the playoffs. I really do. But now San Antonio is now eighth seed. But um, they're like, I think they said like five, they're around like five games back, I believe. They're around five, game back, uh, five games back from a playoff spot or six or seven, somewhere around that. Uh, in the playoff spot. I'm really excited to see what goes on with that, man. Comment down below how excited you are with the Zion hype. Are you still thinking he's going to do, do solid this year? Do you think he has a chance to win Rookie of the Year? It's going to be a stretch. I, if he does make the playoffs and does do a push and beats uh, John Morant to the playoffs this season, I get, I'm going to give it to Zion. And if he does get do some amazing numbers and I'm really excited for the Nuggets game that's going to be on tomorrow as well so that's going to be amazing to see as well guys man but guys comment down below of all the stuff that I said what you guys think about this about Zion Williamson his debut all of that good stuff but guys comment down below like this video thank you guys so much for the support it really means a lot as always guys I'll see you guys next time peace out